Hi there, you guys. Good morning. I'm Diana. For those that know me and don't know me, uh, we're just going to get moving a little bit, work on the legs. Happy Thanksgiving, those celebrating. Um, give thanks, feel gratitude. Um, I'm going to share a video of some of the history of it that a girlfriend shared. Um, so let's be mindful this day, yes? Um, with that said, we're going to work on the legs a little bit, get us ready, and um, just... Uh, Let's rock and roll. Get cozy, come cross-legged. Wherever you are, begin to pull the fleshy part away from underneath you. Get grounded, get rooted. Hands can be on the knees. Relax the shoulders. Maybe you pull them up towards the ears and down and back. Maybe two more times like that. Pull the shoulders up to the ears. Inhale, exhale, down and back. Inhale, shoulders to ears. Get tall on the spine. Exhale, shoulders down and back. Settle in, humble the chin down and in. Close the eyes if they are not. Roll the eyes up and in. Nice big inhale through the nose. Pulling the belly in as you exhale through the nose. Inhale. Through the nose, exhale. One more, inhale. And this time hold it, hold it, hold it. Bring the hands right in front of the heart, that prayer, elbows out wide and through the mouth, exhale. Inhale, sigh it out. Three ohms opens us up to the vibration of, you, of the universe, the wisdom, the knowledge, the creativity that's beyond us, that can come through us and connect us together. Inhale to begin. Om. Hi, you guys. Hopefully you're still there with me. I'm not sure where we got cut out. So hopefully you're there with me. We tuned in with three ohms. Um, we're going to get rocking and rolling. So go ahead and take those hands right out to the sides. Palm is facing down. I'm sorry you can't see them. Palm is facing down. So you can close the eyes. We're going to alternate here. Inhale is out. Exhale. Cross it over. And just alternate which wrist comes on front. Yes? Use a powerful breath like you're cutting through your karmic here, burning up some, some energy so we can indulge in our goodness later. Not too long, just opening up the shoulders here. If you have any pain, back off, take it slow. If you do, no big deal, inhale, exhale. But if you feel good, you want to get rocking and rolling, move it. Inhale is out. Exhale, send the arms right up. Now, similar thing. Bring the thumbs right inside the fist. So wrap the fingers right around the thumbs on the inside. Inhale is down. Exhale is up. Just dropping the elbows down towards the ribs, sending the arms high. Your choice if you want to do inhale, down, exhale, up, or inhale, up, exhale, down. I just ask you, link the breath with the movement. Last 15 seconds here. Get it out, starting early. Inhale is up. Exhale, relax the body on down. Relax everything down. Stay still, stay quiet. Inhale big, eyes are closed. Sigh it out gentle. Feel the heart starting to accelerate. Really, really nice. Roll right over those legs, you guys. Make my way back here so you can see me a bit better. So on your legs, just gonna do a couple rounds of cat-cow here. So hands and knees, uh, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Feel good about it. Inhale, drops the belly, tilts the head and heart back to open. Exhale, round. Let the head and shoulders go. Inhale, 
exhale move at a nice rhythm that works for you if you feel good this am this day move quick or take it nice and slow really inhaling lighting each vertebra really exhaling rounding getting breath in there couple more rounds guys nice job Beautiful, inhale, drop the belly, tilt the head and heart back. Exhale, rounds. And go ahead and take that right foot and place it right on the outside of that right hand. And see if you can walk that foot forward ever so slightly, a few inches, many inches, and walk the hands with it. So you can really sink those hips there, yeah? If you feel good, you can come on down to the elbows, but just stay here a moment. Just starting to open, awaken the hips. Go ahead and walk that foot back, recenter yourself, bring the knees back, reset, and go ahead and take that left foot and place it on the outside of that left hand. Walk those toes a few inches forward, take the hands with them, and sink the hips down. Just starting to open here, you guys. Breathe, inhale, exhale. Go ahead, send that foot on back, reset here. Go ahead and send that right foot in between the hands now. You can walk those toes a few inches forward and really just let the, the hips sink here. Slightly different. See if you're over rotating towards that right side, if you can bring that right hip back in line with that left. Try to keep that knee over the heel and go ahead, send it on back, you guys. And switch that one more time. Take that left hand now in between the toes. You can walk it out if you need. Let the hips sink slightly different here. Pulling that left hip back. Not trying to over rotate anything. Try to make it cozy. Inhale. And exhale. Send it on back. Let's go ahead. Come with the hands. Palms right down. We're going to come into our first triangle, our down dog. So inhale. Exhale, tuck the toes and send the hips on back. Breathe, inhale. Exhale. And inhale. Exhale as you send that right foot in between those toes. Stay on the toes. You're coming into that runner's lunge here. Come up onto the fingertips. Breathe, inhale. Exhale, now gently drop that left hand and twist on open you guys to the right side, sending that right arm straight up. Gaze can go towards the skies, the ceilings and beyond. Inhale, and exhale, switch it on out, be gentle here, come back into that triangle, that down dog. Inhale. Exhale as you send that left foot in between the hands. Coming into that runner's lunge, stay up high on that back heel. I'm so, excuse me, the back toes. Inhale, coming up onto the fingertips. Exhaling, sending that left hip back. And when you're ready, drop that right hand, sending that left arm out to open up towards the ceiling, the skies and beyond. Inhale, coming into that nice twist. Exhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale, back into that down dog. Please walk both feet towards the hands. That nice gorilla pose. If you feel good, you can take the hands underneath the feet or just hang in that fold, forward fold. Sending the hips back. You can keep a little bend in the knees, yes? You try to keep the chest towards the thighs. Inhale. Exhale, send the hips up, send that tailbone towards the ceiling and the skies. Let go of the head. Shake the head, yes. Whoo, shake the head, no. Make some noise. Inhale, lip flutter. Ha. Let it go. Shoo, 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 shoo. Nice job, you guys. Inhale. Undo the hands, you can hold onto the ankles if you were, no big deal. Exhale, and just walk those feet out. So coming into a wider stance here, 
stay with it here, nice and wide. This is really good for the hamstrings, the hips, allows everything. Let the head start going towards the hands. And the head reaches towards the ground, the hips and the sits bones, the tail, and you're sending up towards the sky. Opening here, inhale, and exhale. You can take the hands if you feel good about it inside and wrap them around the outsides of the feet, pulling yourself in a bit more. Inhale, exhale, and gently inhale and bring the hands right underneath your face as you exhale. Really begin to center that left hand under the face. Try to put some weight into that hand. Inhale. Exhale, you're just going to twist towards the right and send that right arm up, guys, like we did before, just in a different slight posture here. Inhale, reach. Exhale, reach. Hand, inhale. Exhale, switch it on out, bringing that right hand right underneath your face. And when you're ready, inhaling towards that left side to open. Feeling the upper body. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, and go ahead, bring it on back down. If you can, I'm gonna ask that you bend those knees and see if you can wrap around the outside. So go through the legs here like a little bug and wrap around the outside heels. And just stay pretty parallel here. Let it feel good. Try to keep that chest parallel to the ground. Keep the head down, keep the chin tucked. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, brings the hands back in, and you're going to heel, toe, just a couple inches back in, so you can come into that malasana, come all the way down, take the hands into prayer, use the elbows to push away on the inner knees there, the inner thighs, firmly not the knees. <laughs> But get in there as much as you can. If you need to take the stance wider or closer, whatever feels good, just make sure that the toes and the heel are flat down. Do your best. Breathe, lifting the chest up, using the hands in prayer to really press those knees, excuse me, thighs open, the legs are open. Inhale. And exhale, let it all go. Bring the hands down, roll back up. Gentle bend in the knees and just roll, roll the spine up. You're a rock star, guys, you're a rock stars. Nice job with that, let's shake it out. Take the hands right in front of the heart and just begin to kick, kick, alternate kicks. Try to keep loose, right? So try to use the knee as the, the object that's pulling you, the muscle that's pulling us, and everything from the knee down is just loose, yeah? You can see that? So you're just flick, flick of the knee here, and then I'm gonna ask that we just start turning it. Flick it to the side. Flick, flick, no big deal. Flick, 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 flick it. Stay with the breath. Are you breathing? Hands in front of the heart. Stay with the breath, long and deep, coordinate it with the legs, whatever feels good. Now, I'm gonna ask a different transition. That same leg is gonna be fun. <laughs> Same leg, you're gonna kick and shoot that knee out. Kick, shoot the knee up. Kick and shoot the knee out to the sides towards the same elbow. So same knee, same elbow. Nice, just wanna get into those hips here, you guys. Feel it, moving the breath, energizing. We're coming down to the end. We're gonna rest and then we'll meditate. So stay with it. You're kicking across, kicking towards the elbow, kicking across, kicking towards the elbow. No big deal. Stay breathing. Should feel pretty good, yeah? You feel that in the pelvis, and the rotators. Unless you have injury, just back off. No big deal. I suggest hands in prayer just to keep, keep the balance. Keep us at the heart. Keep the heart rate up slightly as we're slowing it down. Last couple times here, stay with it. 
should feel pretty good. Stay breathing. Both legs together. Inhale. Exhale, release the hands. Inhale, reaches both arms up. Take the gaze towards the thumbs. Exhale, back down to the heart. Coming into our tree pose, you can stay with the hands here. Begin to put all the weight into that left side. Take those right toes, come onto them. And send that right knee out to the side. You can make your way, you can stay at the shin, the ankle. You can make your way up if you're at the knee, just lightly touching the knee. Or you can take the journey all the way up into that inner thigh. You can use that right hand to pull that right foot up. See if you can really, really bring the hips into one plane, right? Not one sticking up or down. See if you can bring them straight into a one plane here. Nice, solid hips. See if you can really send this right knee to open out to the right side. Nice, you guys, really nice. You can express your tree here. Whatever you feel called to do. Hands can come in the back. You can clasp the elbows, open up the heart. You can take the gaze slightly up. You can close the eyes, test your balance. Just breathe a couple seconds more. Inhale, exhale, inhale. And exhale, let everything go. Bring those hands right in front of the heart. Start bringing the weight right onto that right side, right foot, right leg. Take, come onto those left toes, send that left knee out to open. And again, make your journey up, whether it's the shin, the ankle, lightly on the knee, or all the way on up. You can use that left hand to guide that left foot inside that left thigh, right thigh. Stay with it, stay breathing. See if you can bring the hips. Is it more challenging on this side? One side might feel better than the other, no big deal. See if you can bring both hips in alignment. See if you can open up that left knee. Express your tree here. Whatever you did before, maybe you do the opposite. Try something new, have fun, no big deal. If you fall out of it, phew, no big deal. Like anything in life, you come back in just as strong, if not stronger. Just the last couple seconds here, you guys, expressing your tree, inhaling, exhaling, and inhale, exhale, let that go, send the knee back to front. Nice job with that. Let's make our way onto our backs. Coming down to the end here, guys. Nice job, nice job. So once you're here, you can take the hands right underneath, keep the knees into the chest. You can take the hands underneath the head, keep them there if you like. Or if you need more support on the low back, please do so. We're just gonna go right into some bicycles here. So sending one leg straight and then the opposite and just begin to push, pull or ride your bicycle. Engage the lower abdomen, feel it, keep the feet up. I prefer them a little higher than six inches, just so you know you're really keeping the feet up. If not, six inches is good. If you're just pushing and pulling the movement, just wanna engage, engage the abs, engage the core. Stay breathing, inhaling, exhaling. Inhale, both legs up, exhale down. Last 30 seconds here. Inhale up, exhale down, move quick. Get a fire burning, a little sweat working. Give you your all. Last little bit, guys. Inhale is up. Exhale as you flex the feet, reach towards the outside of those feet, that happy baby, that bug pose, pulling the knees towards the armpits. Lift the chest. Pull the low back down, trying to get that low back towards the ground, sending the tailbone down, pressing against the ground below you as you open up the heart. Pull the knees in, inhale, exhale. 
Inhale. Exhale. Take those feet right towards each other. Take an inhale here. And let it go. Exhale. Take that right knee, excuse me, that right foot over that left thigh as best as you can. Take the arms out into a T. Inhale here. Exhale as you fall towards the left. Nice little twist here. So right foot is just on top of that left thigh. Anywhere that feels good up there above the knee. And you're just letting it fall over. You can take that gaze towards the right hand. Breathing. Inhale. And as you exhale, come on through. Nice twist. Nice and gentle. Undo the legs. Take that left foot high. Flex it. Take it over above that knee onto that right thigh. Left foot onto right thigh. And when you're ready, inhale. Exhale as you fold over towards the right. Letting your legs drop that ways. Take that gaze towards the left if you like. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And as you exhale, coming on back, let everything go. Send the legs long, leave the arms big, out to the sides. Begin to let the feet go. Close the eyes, relax. Relax the shins, relax the knees, relax the thighs. Relax the hips. Relax the heart, relax the shoulders, relax the arms, the fingers, the wrists, elbows. Relax the throat, the face, the ear, inner ear, eyes, eyelids, tongue, jaw, cheeks, forehead, eyebrows, brain, top of the head and the entire spine. Relax everything down and just disappear a moment. Begin to inhale. Gentle exhale, coming back. Mm. Really nice job, you guys. To each of you, begin to move the head left and right like you're saying no. Some gentle movements coming back. Wiggle the toes, wiggle the fingers. When you're ready, send the arms and the legs up and towards the skies the ceilings and beyond. Rotate the wrists, rotate the ankles. Rub the soles of the feet together, rub the hands together. Inhale, exhale. Take both knees and hug them. Give yourself a lot of love here, a lot of gratitude for these limbs. You can rock side to side. You can pick a side and gently push your way up or you can rock a few times along the spine until you're seated. We'll meet cross-legged here, everybody. <laughs> Can't find my bolster and that is fine. Get nice and tall when you get there. Stay cozy, stay alert. Close the eyes. 
Take that right hand inside the left hand and touch the thumb tips together. You can keep the rest of the fingers nice and curled. And you're just gonna hold that right onto the heart. So the thumbs can be touching right where the collarbone is or the heart, around the collar, the heart. Between the collar, the neck here, and the heart. Whatever feels the most natural. I don't want you to be thinking about it. Yeah, I just want you to place it, let it fall there. Be gentle and just begin to breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Close the eyes, feel secure, feel your grace, your calmness, your purity. No one can tell you what you are, who you are. Inhaling, exhaling. Just trust you're right where you need to be, right who you need to be in order to be who you need to become. You've made it this far, we, we all have together, so I applaud you, I honor you. Stay with the breath. Humble that chin down and in in case it's starting to lift. Elongate the back of the neck, eyes are closed, rolled up and in. Nice and gentle, everybody. Inhale. Hold the breath a moment. Exhale. Inhale. And a gentle sigh as you release the hands. Ah. And just observe. Watch yourself. What shifted, what stayed, what changed, what feels better. Take those hands right in front of the heart. Three alms honors each other's light and connects us in gratitude to the light that's beyond us, that wisdom, that creativity. We thank you. Inhale. Oh. Gentle exhale as you bow in reverence and gratitude. My light honors your light. Have a beautiful day, however you celebrate. Be safe, be kind, and be good to each other. Sat Nam. Namaste. Mm. Y'all rock stars. I love you so much. Thanks for being here. Shout out to all of you that were here this morning. Be well, you guys. I'll see you, uh, see you tomorrow. <laughs> we have one more of these on Tuesday, December 1st, and then I will be taking my hiatus after that. So I look forward to being with you in the new year. But all these videos are up for your enjoyment, for your practice, for us together collectively healing. Hi, Steve-O! And they're all up on YouTube. So please follow my YouTube. Have access to these. I'm 
not too far from you. I love y'all.